Hi Libra, welcome to my channel. My name is Kem. Today Libra, for a meditative session, I got temperance. I feel like it's kind of perfect for you, right? Because it, for me, it means balance. It also means something being returned to you, right? Like good karma. And I feel like what's interesting is they're saying if you're asking for help, then it's there, right? Like if you're asking for something in specific, if you're asking a specific question, like the answer is there. That's something else that I'm getting. It's like, it's there. Like all you have to do is ask for it and they'll give it to you, right? So I feel like you have a question that you, that you're trying to figure something out and they're already there to help you. So you just have to ask. That's what I'm getting. And it's interesting because I never really look at the bottom of the deck, but at the bottom of the deck, we have the queen of wands in reverse and the nine of cups. And we also have the three of cups. So I don't know if this is necessarily about a relationship or if this is someone who's been dealing with a karmic uh, but that's, it's interesting that those are at the bottom of the deck, right? And then we have the judgment card. And I do feel like, again, there has been a lot of people awakening, right? Uh, there has been a lot of, I think, introspection. And within that introspection, people are kind of waking up to, I feel like it's more than just knowledge, but it's waking up to themselves, right? So I feel like, again, this year, I feel like you're going to reap a lot of karma, like good karma, basically, right? And I think that's something that you should be proud of. And again, if there's a question that you have, I feel like you should just ask for that help. Like, again, if it's a specific question, just ask. They're going to guide you in the right direction. Like, they want you to be happy. They want to guide you in the right direction. They want to give back to you, right? It's like good karma coming your way. So, yeah, I feel like they want you to ask right and you will basically receive so that's why i'm getting libra let's pull some cards Okay, Libra. <laughs> I freaking love this reading. So, I do see a lot of pain, Libra, here with the Ten of Swords and the Devil. I do see that you still hold on to that pain, right? Like, I know that you don't want to hold on to it, but I still feel like there's something that happened to you that really, 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 really like has stuck with you right and this is the type of pain or loss that i, I want to say like time kind of heals all wounds and i think it has healed right we don't have the healing card here and we have the five of cups in reverse so what i'm getting with this is like you have healed but you still hold on like it, it's still a part of you like it has become a part of you whatever happened to you see what i'm saying and it has changed you right it has changed you and I feel like Libra, when it comes to giving love a chance, right? I feel like you just don't see it for you, right? Like you just don't see it. Uh, it's, it's like I've already been hurt so badly, right? With the devil and the ten of swords. I've been hurt to such an extent. And I don't know who's necessarily coming in, to be honest. Uh, it could be a past person. It could be uh, someone new, right? But I do see, Libra, that you, when it comes to this person coming in and offering you, 
uh, love, right? Because someone is coming in to offer you love. Someone wants a beginning with you and they want to offer you not only their friendship, but their heart, right? And I feel like this is the problem, right? This right here, this pain, this pain that you feel. And I feel like they're trying to let you know. That's what the Bod Bodhisattva, like the Temperance card was letting you know, right? Like to kind of have blind faith in something, even though something doesn't seem, it kind of doesn't add up in your head, right? It, like again, it's something spontaneous and something, it's like, but why would you want to give me your heart? Like, I feel like you're just so, you're so reluctant because you're so you don't trust like anyone anymore right like you're just not easy with trust you don't care you know what i mean it's not it's not that you don't care it's just like you're hard to really you're hard to crack right now you know what i mean it's it's hard for you it's hard for you to let go it's hard for you to be open it's hard for you to see again your, yourself loving someone again because i i feel like someone really really hurt you you know and What's interesting is like, I feel like this person just didn't see, right? With the King of Air, the Two of Cups and the Knight of Coins, this could be the same person coming back, but they didn't see it for some reason and they see it now. And I feel like there will be some sort of communication, right? Like again, someone is definitely coming in. It could be a past person because I am seeing that it was like someone who did not notice in the past and now it's like they're waking up to it. Again, there is like a huge awakening going on and I'm getting that for like all the signs. Like there is an awakening going on. Uh, there is a lot of people ascending and I feel like a lot of people are starting to see things that they didn't see in the past. So I feel like that's your question. It's like, but why now? And if it's like, again, this person, they're telling you like straight up, this person did not see, right? And I feel like it's the end of sad times for you, Libra, but you have to kind of let go of this. You have to let go of the pain, right? It's a part, it's like a part of you now, right? And I feel like you like it, to be honest. I feel like you like it because it, you feel like it, it's your way of protecting yourself. If I hold on to this, I, like, I'm protecting myself, right? But I feel like with the devil here, it could be a mistake to hold on to it because you don't want to miss out either right like you do want to protect yourself you do want to create boundaries but don't make it up at to a point where you're holding on to it in such a way that you're not going to be able to experience what's coming because again you're you're being made you're having a love offer and i heard the song do you believe in love and it's like do you because i feel like it's coming and again if you're sitting here in this and you're holding on to this i feel like it's not going to help this right like this is your mentality right now like you want to get out of the pain but you're still holding on to it. it it again it's not even that you're holding on to it it's a part of who you are but i don't think it has to be a negative thing about you i think it could be a positive thing like yeah i protect myself i use boundaries but i don't i'm not going to miss out on this and that's like the mentality that i hope that you go into this libra the mentality of like i i want to try right like i want to try like someone is being honest right and it's interesting because the destiny and the two of wands is in reverse right so i feel like with this it's kind of like i'm gonna be honest with the destiny in reverse it's like something that was supposed to happen that never did happen right like it was meant to happen it was in the cards and with the two of wands it was some, something again that was supposed to happen like someone was supposed to take the jump and they did not right towards their son and maybe you're the son to be honest you're the son and they like did not do it right but with destiny in reverse it's something that like i feel like has to happen right like again it's it's destined i feel like this person just kind of stalled it to be honest i feel like this should have already been on your on it should have already been in your 3d but it's not because someone i think they kind of messed up to be honest um it's supposed to have already been here that's what i'm kind of getting like with the destiny in reverse it's like this person was supposed to have kind of gotten to you already, but there's something stalling them in some sort of way. So again, I feel like you just, you have to have like this blind faith that this is coming for you. And even though it's taking a sweet ass time to get to you, I really do feel like it's coming, right? Like the sun is coming. Uh, but again, it's like, so it's like, again, you have to be at the same energy as someone else, right? And someone else, unfortunately, like if they're not ready, they're not ready, right? Like they, you can't really push someone to be, be being ready. Like you have to just wait. And again, that's what I'm trying to say. Like someone is coming to offer you something and I feel like you're a little bit detached from your heart. You're a little bit sad. You're a little bit, again, uh, it's like you're not going to really believe that when this comes, like that it came, right? 
it's like how did how did they get this person to see like how did they get this person to see but it doesn't really matter how they got this person to see i am seeing that it took a long time so again it did take a long time this is something that has taken a very very long time it's something that i don't even think you believe in anymore right it's like again that's why i'm getting this on do you believe in love I do you believe in love like if this person was to come up are you going to take the chance with this person libra that's basically it because we do have this king here and they are going to make you this offer right we have the ace of wands we have the six of cups i feel like you might think that, like they're just trying to play you because we have wands energy here right and wands is like fast and maybe like flirty but it's a little bit unstable but i feel like because it's an ace you can trust them right you can trust them and what's interesting again is like i i don't think they're coming in with any lies i think they're coming in very honest right but yeah you have a true pair here, right? The king and the queen of pentacles, right? I don't think that they're lying, right? I don't think that they're lying. I think this is you, the queen of pentacles in reverse and the queen of cup in reverse. I just feel like you're in a reverse energy because again, whatever happened to you changed who you are. And I don't think that, I don't think this person even knows like who they're gonna receive, to be honest, because I don't think they're gonna receive the same person they met. And if this is a new person, I, I don't think it's a new person because I do feel like it's someone who, again, should have already been there but again it could just be a new person that should have been there and is taking their it's like t they're just taking a long time but i am kind of getting this past energy of someone who's starting to see things differently now so i am getting like a kind of a past energy right doesn't necessarily have to be but you guys are coming up as a true pair you're in reverse libra because i feel like again you're in a lot of pain and that's kind of become who you are but i want to say like with the song do you believe in love this is coming for you right and it's it's also there is also cup energy here so you don't have to say like oh i know that they're coming in for like one thing only no like there's cup energy here there's a soulmate here right with the six of cups and i feel like this is someone who disappointed you in the past with these cards it's like they disappointed you in the past and maybe that's why you had to like take away your energy but i do see like them coming in i do see them wanting to be fast about it i know that you're again you're not in the most trustworthy energy but i feel like with your intuition i feel like you might feel like this is actually too good to be true and it's not again like libra do you believe in love that's what i keep getting do you believe in love it doesn't matter like who comes in libra it's like are you ready for it that's basically it like it doesn't matter who comes in it's are you ready for it like maybe you're very particular about who you want to come in which obviously i think is like a bad way to manifest because when you manifest you have to be really open about who comes in uh like it can't be like oh this person has to look like this and they have to be this height and they have to have this eye color like obviously that's a terrible way to manifest you have to be like open to whatever comes and so i'm saying like are you going to be open to whatever is coming in right whether it be someone who you who lost you or someone new like you have to be ready because it's coming and i feel like they're preparing you like they're really preparing you like they don't want you to miss out on opportunity and i feel like a lot of it has to do with your perspective on love and your like people being together it's like maybe you don't believe in it anymore and you're kind of just like losing hope and you've lost faith and you just don't think it's something possible but i feel like it is right it's something like that was destined again it might not have come at the time that you thought it would honestly i even think like the divine thought it was coming at another time and someone was a little slow <laughs> someone was very slow someone is very slow to see this but it's okay because it's coming in now right we have two aces so yeah i feel like this person who was blind is now seeing right like they're seeing something now they're seeing something and again it took them a long time but they're seeing it uh it's just like are you ready like are you ready libra for this can you let go of whatever this is can you let this go and start again with someone and obviously they have to come in the right energy obviously this person has to be like 100 percent. and again there might be a lot of people coming around right because this is venus retrograde and i want to say that be very there might be three people that come back there may be two people that come back there may be one person that comes back be very sure like that this is the right person because there is someone coming in the right way and there i f have a feeling that there will be people that come in the wrong way like i just feel like maybe out of two people that come in one is going to come back just because they miss you but they don't really they don't really have anything to offer you and one is going to offer you a lot so i feel like you have to be careful about who it is that's actually coming in right it could be like a new person versus a past person and you're like oh the new person is definitely going to be better than the past person and that might not be the case like just use your intuition right and again 
part of knowing who's who is feeling and you have to be connected to your emotions so libra maybe this has taken a long time because you've needed a long time to heal that could be another thing like i feel like you've healed but with you in reverse i feel like maybe you took a long time to heal you know what i'm saying maybe you took a long time to resolve the issues that you had in the past with someone so again maybe this took a long time not only because of this other person but because of you right like you both had to be ready for it and i feel like something is coming and something is on its way and it doesn't matter what form it comes in like you have to just be ready and use your intuition Let's pull some advice, Libra. So Libra, it's really interesting what you got. With take the lead, stag spirit in reverse, I feel like what they're trying to say with this is, I feel like you have taken the lead in when it comes to protecting yourself right and that's something new that you're i think you're doing it's it's like i'm my my sanity my protection is above all else right and i get that because it is <laughs> but i just don't want you to miss out on whatever is coming in because you are sh with these strong boundaries like there's nothing wrong with having strong boundaries but i feel like it's also kind of a, a warning right like have boundaries but know when the right thing is here and it's hard to know that especially when dealing with a past person especially dealing with a new person like it doesn't matter who it is it's hard it's hard to know who to trust and i feel like what they're trying to say is like i feel like you've already mastered that and you have to like trust yourself and with take the lead it's like it's a lead in a new direction right you're you're not the same as you were in the past you've learned a lot of shit and you're imposing those boundaries on others right and that's a good thing but i do see something coming for you and i feel like maybe with a, this i feel like this is like screaming to me past person i hate that i want to give you a new person but i'm getting a lot of past energy here and what i want to say with this is like someone might have taken a long time to catch up to you right like maybe you took the lead and they're, they took a long time to get to to where you are do you see how this person is seeing now at the end of the reading they're seeing this like look at this shit it's a it's a, someone who's seeing now about this relationship but it took them so long that's what i'm getting it took them so freaking long and again there's nothing wrong with you being in the lead but they're telling you you have to have patience with people because we can't all get things at the same time and that's what i'm trying to say like you understood this and now your boundaries are up now someone else is getting it and it's after the fact like you just want to be happy and now this person wakes up right there is a lot of awakening there's a lot of awakening going on right now so again it's hard for you because this could have been something you saw in the past and this person's just seeing it now but i feel like they want you to be i feel like they want you to kind of remain hidden until until it's the right time with this coming up with the intuition card it's like again i feel like maybe more than one person is coming through yeah like two people and you have to be discerning and you've already made boundaries to protect yourself and there's nothing wrong with that so again kind of remain in that position right until this the right person comes through and i do feel like for some of you it's two people that come and you have to decipher between the two and it's going to be hard for you because your boundaries are up but you know what to do and again someone is catching up to this but it's only one person and you have to know which one it is and until then you have you kind of have to be a mystery right like you don't have to reveal yourself you don't have to say what you're doing you don't have to be like super honest about like oh yeah i'm testing you right now i want to know like if you're being honest like no <laughs> like just kind of do your own thing and you'll know who it is that's being honest with you right like you'll you'll figure it out like it'll be easier to figure out if you just let people do their thing you know what i'm saying like someone will try to woo you and someone will actually try really hard to be with you. And the other person is going to put in the same thing they always put in the past. It's, it feels like a karmic might be coming back and an actual person that is a soulmate. Like they're both soulmates, but the one that you're meant to go off with and you have to decipher between the two. That's what I'm kind of getting, especially with the two animals now here. But there is only one person that's seeing now. There is only one person. Like only one person woke up. I don't think two did. I mean, that's unfortunate, but I don't feel like the awakening is for two people. I feel like only one person has awoken and that's this king of pentacles. Could be an earth sign, right? A Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But yeah, someone did wake up and someone has not. And if that's you that's dealing with two people coming in, which you might not know of right at this point, you're going to have to decipher that. 
and you don't have to give everything away just see what they do right like let them let them <laughs> let them do them and like you'll figure it out right away your intuition is on point Mashi Glabdrong, the diamond hearted zucchini. I see the light in my own darkness. I face my ego beliefs to feel free. I feel like this is for you and them. I feel like, again, someone has awoken, right? And their ego is something that was probably in the way. So you might be dealing with someone from the past who's very egoistic and someone who, and I feel like that would really bother you, right? Especially Libra who can see both sides to a situation. Whereas there's only a person here who can see only one side, which is their side all the time. And I feel like that's why you're going to have a red flag right away because it's a person in the past that you feel has been very unfair, right? And very like strong in their ego, meaning like an emperor, right? Someone who doesn't care, right? About what you feel or what you think. It's only about what they feel, what they think. And it's to a it's not helpful right in a situation of love right and love is supposed to be an equal give and take so there might be two people coming up and one who has dealt with their ego and one who has not and that's exactly what you have to look for right it's like is someone still in their ego and hasn't seen shit and again there is someone coming in who has who is not in their ego anymore so you have to be able to decipher that they're not in their ego anymore they've seen it they know what this is they took a long time, but they do know what it is. And there's someone who's still in their ego, will always be in their ego. I don't think they're awakening. I don't want to say ever, but not right now, at least not right now. And you have to decipher between that. And I feel like you just have to let go of fear. Again, <laughs> uh, I see light in my own darkness. L see the light. Like, yeah, it's tricky. And I know it sucks that like maybe two people are coming, but that is what it is, right? It's a test for you, but in a good way, because you already know, again, your intuition's on point. You don't have to worry about that. Let these people like play it out and you'll be able to tell right away who's still sitting in their ego and who was on, you know, don't think about the past. Think about like how they're acting right now, right? And then you'll know. I love you, Libra. I hope this message resonates and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.